You'll be fine. I hope you will. I'm Christy. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. It was so nice to meet you. My name's Luke. Hi. Hi. Thanks for sharing with us this evening. Okay. We're going to take a picture. There's a lot of students behind you. We're going to take a picture, okay? <laughs> I was 21 then. I am Lillian Buska Stone, a graduate of the University of Rochester School of Nursing, class of 1937. They invited me to tell them about student days in 1934 to 37. We didn't have any ICU units or neonatal departments. Nothing was discarded. We used everything. We cleaned and sharpened needles, washed, dried, powdered rubber gloves, packaged them, and they were autoclaved. TB was rampant. Oxygen tents were heavy. Case, rubber casings and ice cooled them. If the ice containers weren't emptied on time, we mopped the floor. We had no nurses' aides, no technicians. We didn't have any uh, antibiotics. Gangrene infections were prevalent. Sulfa was a, a, another thing that helped, but unfortunately, we didn't know its side effects. And one of the uh, board members of the university died after taking sulfa. And when we were hired, the nurses were paid $60 plus room and board per month. We had to stand every time a doctor came on the floor. They were like gods. <laughs> The nursing professors, some of them were very strict, others were nice. <laughs> they were all very efficient. And I feel I got a good education. Remember that people are not numbers. They have a life before they come to the hospital. And unless you can get to their lives or know something about it, their cure will take a great deal longer. This is so wonderful. This is so wonderful. I am so thrilled that you're here. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. It was a hoot. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. There's the cap, yeah. the, the cape. There's the lamp uh, that uh, is in line with Florence Nightingale. There's a new book out about Florence Nightingale. It's supposed to be the true. The true Florence Nightingale. She was a bit of a rebel. <laughs> she was British. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> we can have nurses and doctors learning how to take care of patients together. You can actually intubate him. You can take a blood pressure. We had to depend on observation. You can listen to heart sounds and we can program in dysrhythmias. You can actually do chest compressions. The students can practice in a pretty lifelike situation but knowing they're not going to harm anyone. It's awesome. Yeah. Is that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> we worked on such a, a doll that did nothing. I am amazed and I'm glad the good Lord let me see what's going on in nursing today. 